Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, we're going to be working on the tower defense game. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. Now, before we actually get started here, I do want to mention that we are going to be using a function that is bugged in 2.3.4. It is actually much slower than what it was in 2.3.3. Now, we probably won't notice a performance hit, but it's just something to keep in mind when you're writing your own games. So let's actually skip ahead and let's open up our tower here and let's open up the bomb tower because that's the one we're going to be working with. So let's add a new step event to the bomb tower. And what we want to do is only have this happen when we are able to shoot. So we could say if can shoot, and then we will wrap everything within this code. The other way we can do it is if this is the only code that's going to be run, we can say if we are not able to shoot, then just return and it won't run anything underneath the step statement here. I'll leave it as this for now and let's just carry on. So we're going to be collecting a list of enemies and storing them in a DS list. So we'll make sure that we create that list. And now we need a new variable called number to actually hold how many enemies we find. We are going to be using a collision circle list function that will take in the X and Y position of our tower. It'll take in the radius to search in what object we need to search, which would be object player. Let's make sure that we don't use precise. We make sure that we are not included in this collision. And then we need to pass in the DS list that we just created. And then whether or not this needs to be ordered and we can just say false to save on some CPU. Now, if we're able to shoot, and we already have a list here, we need to make sure that the number is bigger than zero, meaning that we did find some enemies. And now we have to cycle through each one of these enemies and apply the damage. Now, I'm gonna be using a snippet here, so I'll hit F4, and I'll just use a for loop. So for i equals zero, i is less than the number that we found, and then we'll just say i plus plus. Or you can change this to say index, and that's actually what I'll do for mine. Now that we have the index, all we have to say is with each of the enemies within this DS list, according to whatever index that we have it on, then all we need to do is just say hurt and apply some damage. And the damage that we are going to be applying is bullet damage. Now, if there is 100 enemies within this collision circle, then all 100 is going to be actually damaged. What we could do is we could clamp this. We could say clamp this number between 0 and 10 which means only 10 enemies at a time will actually get the damage. Once we are done looping through everything, we'll set our alarm to zero, so our timer is ready to go, and then we will say can shoot equals false because we've already shot everything. The final thing we need to do is a memory management, and we just need to clear up that list to say DS list destroy, and then we will pass in our DS list enemies. And now our bomb tower should be able to go ahead and shoot everything. Before I run the game, I have an error here. Alarm is zero is not set. So let's change this to alarm two, as that's the actual shot timer here. And the final thing we need to do is change the timer fire to say rate of fire. Sorry about that. So now let's run the game and let's choose our bomb tower and see if we're able to shoot anything. So we'll go up to the build menu, click the bomb tower, Let's build him right here. You can see he's got a small radius, but whenever an object comes in here for an enemy, it should automatically shoot. So right here we'll have one. And while that's going, I have built another bomb tower. You can see that they're going pretty quick. So our cooldown is not working or something is incorrect. Let's check out our rate of fire. And our rate of fire is five. So every five frames, then we're going to reset this. So we actually need to say rate of fire times room speed. So that will give us five seconds. Now, if we run our game again, let's go ahead and throw that bomb tower back down. And while that's happening, I'll choose another bomb tower, put it below and one more above. And we should see the bomb tower hit here, but then we should have some enemies to be able to go by. Luckily, we have two in here. Now our enemies are going by and within five seconds, that one should reset. And you can see it hit a bunch of enemies all at once. So now our bomb tower is all set up. Really all we need to do for these towers to actually look nice is to get some animation going and we'll handle that in the next video. So for now, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. A special shout out to the following users who support me through Patreon. Yaddo, Timothy, Alex, Ian, Robert, Annie, Edward, Victor, Ashby, and Paul. And once again, everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. See you next time.